Ooh, I just got an email. Nancy Stamps is live. Here we go. I see two people, six people. Say hello, don't be shy. Let me know that chat's working. I didn't bring those two cards down. I got a card today from Stephanie and hi Beatles fan Sonia. Hi Fred from Michigan. Hi Dee Dee. Hi Carolyn. Hello everybody. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Leah's next to me. Leah say hi. Say hi Leah. Hi. <laughs> this like a haul video of a couple different things I think yeah okay. hi Nancy great name yes Leah's birthday was three days ago three days ago what day was that Tuesday Wednesday Tuesday Tuesday and my birthday is in how many days two thank you for reminding me Oh, that's great, Carolyn. She is sold out of the ladies' night. So the purple cougar is gone. Oh, I want to go to Phoenix, Arizona. We have Phoenix and Scottsdale, Arizona. Well, in two days, Nancy will be in Las Vegas. I'm going to go to that Las Vegas store. I'm excited. Well, I hope I can go to the Las Vegas store. We'll see. It's a work trip, so it depends on how much I'm working. I want to show you guys real quick. We will get to the haul. Um, these are going to be the stamps that I will be featuring for February for Blue Night Rubber Stamps. They are on the website, but I wanted to show them to you. Um, my videos will come out for February, but this one is called Regal Buck, and it says, As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I couldn't show these to you before because they were not on the website, but they are on the website now. Um, so I did a couple techniques with this guy. This one's really cool. This one is called Palm Tree Beach. I wish I could show you guys my samples, but I can't yet. But believe me, you're going to want to watch because they are great. Um, this one is called Campsite. This one was really, really fun to play with. I did two really cool methods with this one. Oh, the um, beach one has a sentiment that says, his mercies are new every morning. That is a separate, both of these have separate sentiments. And then this one, I got to admit, I struggled with this one for a little bit, but it all came together beautifully. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It is called Climbing Kitten. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. So those will be up for February. And... I've been uh, collecting some Valentine stuff here. So if you guys saw the new foils that Creative Vision Stamps launched, I think she's pretty much sold out of most of them. The toner sheets are back on her website. So if you missed the toner sheets, get over there right now and order those. So these are some of the hearts that we made. I kept everything because, of course, we're going to make some Valentines. This one is the one that's sold out, unfortunately, but it does look cool. So these are the ones that I did with transfer foil over the stencil. So someone had commented that um, they found some old foil and it wasn't foiling very well, like it was very dusty. That's when you wanna use these kinds of techniques because it's really cool when these don't foil perfectly and you kinda of get that distressed look. And honestly, 
you you put an embellishment over that, <laughs> no one's gonna notice. So this one came out really cool. This was called that Sandstorm, I think. So I've been saving all of this stuff on a pile and we will get around to making cards. This is the new Gina K. Well, I don't know if it's new, it's new to me. I ordered them, foil mates. So these are the tiny little hearts for that. So I did one in pink and one in red. So I kept those. Here's some more of the foiling. I did one with regular transfer gel and one with the duo gel. So they both came out beautifully. This was using the Gina K Glitz. Or this is Gina K Glitz. This is a tonic Nouveau uh, glitter paste. And then these were those uh, ma um, flippy cards we made. They, um, hi Selma, hi Renee. The, um, somebody told me that the sequins, sequ blah, 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 can't talk. The reversible sequins were on sale at Michael's for $4.99. So I don't know if that's still available on their website, but you might want to go check that out. So we made these, and this is the foilables background. So here's one with that fuchsia pink and silver. Just fun because it's interactive, but it really looks pretty even just like that. Here's one where I had the little love sentiment. I cut that out. I put shimmer paste on it, and then I put glossy accents over it. So it has a little bit of dimension. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. Hi, Rose. Okay. These are some more of those foiled backgrounds we did. I picked up this paper from Hobby Lobby. I didn't even open it yet. It was on sale for 40% off. No, just cut that. Come on. So it's just some cool, the kids are into like emojis and stuff like that. So it's single sided, but it's very whimsical, very fun. That looks like watercolor hearts, some eyelashes. So it doesn't have to be just Valentine's arrows, um, some little be mine hearts, XOXO. These are little um, octagon, no, not octagons, one, six sides, sectagons. Is that sep? I don't know how you say that. Um, <laughs> but they are cute because they have little hearts in there. Some lips. Polka dots. See, there's your emoji faces. So I thought Leah would have fun with these. Very whimsical, very fun. That was at Hobby Lobby. $6.99 and then 40% off. And you get 48 sheets. And it's a heavy duty cardstock. So great for putting on backgrounds. And then I have these. Foil, this is the Valentine's Day foilables, so I don't know if this is still in stock or not. She's selling out pretty quickly, but you get a full sheet of backgrounds, which you have four backgrounds there. And then you have the sentiments, which I like because you can cut those out of hearts and put those on the backgrounds or put them in the center. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys some of those things. I don't normally do Valentine's, so I wanted to share with you guys that this year... I am doing a couple of Valentines. Keep an eye on the mail. You never know who's going to get one. Um, these were the foiled backgrounds that we did. This was the hot foiling. And then I went in and used the heart dies. And I double foiled them. This background is um, the luster polish. The shimmery luster polish in the background. And then I have that hot foil love on there. And this is the one where I did the embossing folders. I actually have a couple of these. Let me see if I can find them. And these came out pretty good. So I did the embossing folder. If you guys saw that video, it was kind of a hot mess and I wasn't real happy with it. But I put them, I put the love on there. Stephanie, I got your birthday card today. Thank you so much, sweetie. So here's another one. And I really like once I cut these down. I am going to use these. I think they came out pretty cool. 
This one I just, um, the hot foil didn't come out so well, but I just used some of that opal polish on the back. So I don't, you know, what did um, Bob Ross say? There's no mistakes, they're just happy accidents. So I think these came out pretty good. I just need to figure out, just put them on some, some cards. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys those. And now we'll get to the unboxing. <laughs> There's not um, very much here. As you guys know, I was picked to be on the design team for the Not Too Shabby Shop. But Jamie reaches out to us when she gets new product. And she says, hey, do you guys want to order anything? So I did order. So for February, you may see some of these things being incorporated. But I thought they were too cute not to share. If Tracy jumps on here, I know she got some things too. So if you didn't see Tracy's video, I think she did do an unboxing as well. Um, I will link for you guys down below. There is a discount code for you as well for the Not Too Shabby Shop. And, oh, she has a rewards program. So when you make a, an account, you get points for all your purchases as well. So that's pretty cool. Free shipping on orders over $60. So this was the first thing I picked up. This is... Honey Bee's Home Essential Papers. Now, why I got this, if you guys have watched my winter films, when I had the Gingerbread Man stamps, I was making those kind of like the front of the houses. And you know the house dyes are really in right now. Look at these papers. So you get 10 sheets, two of each design. So it's not a whole bunch, but it is heavy duty and they're double-sided. So on this side, you have like these black kind of roof shingles. And then on the back side, it has wooden shingles. Or you can use it as siding. So you get that. If I This side, you have either like white siding or you can go with wood planks. That could be the wall. That could be the floor. This one is kind of like poured concrete. Oh yeah, it's like a lighter gray or a darker gray of poured concrete. This has um, white brick or brown brick. And then we have, I guess this would be like bushes or flowers. So I like that they're photorealistic looking. I didn't realize it was 10 sheets. I am definitely gonna have to order more of that because I like to have this stuff on stash when you're doing, like I said, um, welcome to the neighborhood, home cards, and like I said, in the winter time, when you do like elf cards, those gnome cards that we've been doing, the gingerbread men, I like the little, the little textures are pretty neat. Okay, so I got a pack of that, and it's heavy duty card stock. This is the uh, stamp set I'll be using for my February videos. Um, this is from Sunny Studio. It's called Points, um, not Poinsettia. Um, peonies, sorry, pink peonies it's called. I think I'm going to try to do some kind of watercoloring with this. We'll try it out. I really like this sentiment, best wishes. If if nothing else, I love this sentiment. I love that it's scripty. And they're nice size flower. They're not too big. They're not too small. So, and I do believe you can get matching dyes with this as well, but um, we'll check back on her site. Hi, Mary. Hi, Tina. Hi, Kelly. Thank you. This one was too cute to pass up as well. Um, this is Picket Fence Studios. This is Ico Girl. It does have a coordinating die, but it looks like Leah. I couldn't resist. She looks like Leah. I had to have her. So this will be fun because I do not do enough with coloring people, and I want to practice that. And I think with the, the new Arteza skin tone markers I got, this will be fun, but it does look like Leah. Okay. Um, I got this Honey Bee Sentiment set. Now, there was matching dyes as well, which I didn't get, and now I'm kind of regretting it, so I might have to go back and get them. Sending you hugs and kisses, XOXO, all my love. Um, you could put me and you, kiss me. Um, hugs and kisses. So, I mean, a lot of ways you can use this. I thought it was super cute. I have a Hershey's Kiss stamp. 
that I picked up from somewhere, some way, I don't know, a while ago. So I thought so this would be super cute with that. Hi, Jane. Thank you. All right. So these two stamp sets, I think, kind of go together. I'll show those in a second. So look at these tiny little hearts. So I got the Simon Says Stamp Heart Stencil. I showed you guys that last week. That was what I was using... Oops, for these background hearts here. So they're pretty big, bold hearts. There's some little ones in there, different sizes. You know, they kind of spread out. These are tiny. These are so cute. So you get two stencils in one pack. It's called Fluttering Hearts. It's uh, by Honeybee. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to show this. Let me get maybe a dark piece of paper. There we go. So these are smaller, like medium sized hearts. And I like that they're all different. They're kind of drawn. Fun. But then you get another stencil with it. And these are super tiny. These are little itty bitty ones. I cannot wait to put texture paste through this and see how it looks. So you get two stencils, one pack, honeybee called Fluttering Hearts. You could even layer one set and then do the other set over it. Like if you if you did um, the stressings. Oh, maybe we'll do that. We'll come back to these. All right. So then the last stamp set I got is also from Picket Fence. She also has the new order of my favorite thing stamps, Picket, Picket Fence, honeybee. She's got a lot of stuff. You got to go check her out. All right. Wow, Jane's all the way in Tasmania. That is cool. Oh, Stephanie had to go make pizza. What are you guys saying? I don't remember when I was getting time. Yes, skin tones intimidate me too, Tina. So we'll have to practice together. Okay, so I really like these because, first of all, I love these silhouette images. And here is a guy and a girl. Here are two women, and here are two guys. Now, Use your imagination is all I'm going to say. This is going to be a very versatile stamp set. I mean, not just family, friends, relationships, spouses. Be very open-minded to the possibilities that this stamp set could provide you. And because they're silhouette, you could do a nice sunset screen, a scene. You could do a really easy sunset scene and just have these people standing there. There's so many possibilities with this stamp set. I'm very excited about this stamp set. Okay, let me read to you the sentiments. I kind of like you. Together forever, forever, whether you like it or not. Side by side or miles apart, I will always remember our long talks of nonsense. Dang, you are getting so old. <laughs> Siblings, because mom and dad hooked up. Friends, because you know where the bodies are buried. Mom told me you were an accident. Thank you for being a pain in the ass all these years. Brother from the same mother. I love it when it's your birthday. Cake is very important to me. You are stuck with me. And then over here it says sister, friend, and dad. But what I like is that you have the word brother right here and you have the word mother right here. So you can cut the word brother and mother out and you can put sister from another mother, sister from another uh, dad. I mean, you can change this um phrasing because you can it, put these words in there and cut those words out so i firmly believe in doing stamp surgery because it stretches your stamps out further there's no reason for a manufacturer to charge you for the word brother to be separate over here when it's right here so i love that and it's just great so like my sister i would love to send her a card that has like me and her you know you're stuck with me or whatever it is you know my brother, I could send this one. Like I said, open your mind to the possibilities of this stamp set. Hi, Deb! And then these are some more funny sentiments that I think would go cute with this, especially for the younger generation. Um, you know, every generation has its own language, its own slang, and this really kind of, kind of speaks to me. Seriously, literally. My daughter says literally all day long. She is seven years old and says literally all the time so funny. OMG, no, just no. Really, truly, absolutely, never and forever. Yes, 
always, infinitely. Thankfully, you are my family. Obnoxiously, ridiculously happy for you. Apparently, I was not reminded to send you a birthday card. That's so cute. You are an absolutely, positively amazing human being. So I just think these two stamp sets are so cute. This one is called Seriously, Absolutely, Always. And this one is called Pain in My Arse. <laughs> so just wanted to show you guys those. You can pick all them up from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I will, again, link my discount for you guys. I want to do, let's play with these stencils real quick. So this is a piece of Bristol smooth paper. I am going to start with this little bit larger stencil. spray a little bit of pixie spray on there because I don't use it enough and I think because these are such tiny little images it won't hurt right as long as we're not doing glitter we'll be fine learn that mistake okay so spray that one and I might as well spray the other one since we're here Give those a second. Bristol Smooth. I have regular Distress Ink and Picked Raspberry and Wilted Violet. Some bright purple and pink. I have some little... I got these little brushes. We can try these guys out. Do I have another one? Oh, that's a super tiny one. I don't think I want one that small. These, I feel like I need to go upstairs and, like, groom my eyebrows with these. I haven't tried using these yet. Maybe I'll do this, this tiny little guy here. We'll see what they can do. This is the size I like using most often. It's kind of a medium size. I really need to put some washi tape and label these because I'll go to make a sky and my sky will turn green because I'll use the wrong color. <laughs> it's on my to-do list. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, foiling them with the, the duo gel or the transfer foil would look good. Oh, so you guys have all been emailing me like crazy and Nance did you see the toner stamping pad do you see this toner stamping pad yes I saw the toner stamping pad yes I am going to order it however I can already tell you that I'm not going to like it and I'll tell you why I'm not going to like it because even Heidi tells you that it's going to dry out it's going to be temporary it comes with disposable um ink pads so I don't know to me that's not um, very cost effective so I'm not gonna be super happy with that it's just like when you make your own kind of stamping pad I was able to do that with the Heidi Swap um, mink ink but it would dry out and you'd have to throw it away so I'm glad she's come up with a solution for it but I would still like somebody to come up with a permanent way of making it so that we can stamp and foil that's something they're still working on. Okay, let's start with these bigger guys. And again, I do have some stuff on there. Is it called Pixie Spray? Let's do these in Picked Raspberry. Yeah, right, Mary. Um... Tina, if you've watched any of the creativation videos for 2020, Heidi Swap has announced that she is coming out with a toner-based stamp pad so that you can stamp with it and then foil over it. And believe me, guys, I have tried every experiment with trying to do stamped images and get the, getting them the foil. Nothing works. So, 
you know, I just think buying her product, yes, will probably help us, especially the busy times of years when, when you're doing Christmas cards and they all deserve to be foiled. But I think that that's going to be a novelty item. We're going to use it a couple times. We're going to get frustrated that we're pouring, you know, making your own ink pad and then it goes in the garbage. And to me, I just think that's a waste. So I will get it because you guys asked for it and I will show it to you guys. Um... But I already know that uh, it, it's not going to make me happy unless you're stamping out 200 images, which most people, unless you're doing a wedding or uh, mass production of Christmas cards or something, you're not stamping out that many images. All right. cute they're so dainty all right now I'm going to do the little hearts and you could leave it that way but I want to layer these I sprayed on the wrong side this is the back side of the stencil yes I can tell because it's rough I'm gonna use the same brush You definitely don't want to use your distress tool on this if you do it on the wrong side because all the little pointy parts of the stencil will grab onto your little sponging tool and I think it would move the stencil. So for a little dainty stencil like this with such tiny little images, I would definitely recommend using some kind of adhesive to hold it down or taping it down. The the And that's what the um, Pixie Spray was designed for was for, see there, just move. For tiny stencils like this, mine just unstuck itself. I have no idea where it was. Dude, it just moved a whole bunch. <laughs> okay. Whoopsie. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. There we go. Because I sprayed it on the wrong side. And the second thing is, these little blending brushes do come in handy. I think when they first came out on the market, everybody either loved them or hated them. And I think most people hated them because of the price point. I'm not going to lie. I buy the cheapy ones on Amazon and they work fine for me. I don't need professional beauty blending brushes. I can use these little cheapy ones for $20. These are great. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. It looks like patterned paper. And you can make them darker, you can make them lighter. Definitely would look cute going through. Let's just, well, I can run it through the, the, the la, 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 la. I can run the, the paste through there, however, but, 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 but it won't dry today. You'll have to wait until tomorrow. I'm not even cleaning the stamp. I'm leaving the ink on there. Um, the blending brushes are very soft. That's what I would say. Um... They're very soft. I think you can get a pack of five for $20. You can buy um, some of these at your local dollar store, Five Below. I picked these up. So they're very soft. Um, so when you blend with them, they don't leave any harsh marks. Now you don't get, you have to really go in and layer it if you want really dark colors. But they give a very soft pastel finish. They're very easy to use. All right, so I'll put some texture paste gloss through this stencil, and then tomorrow or another day, we'll go through and foil it and see what it looks like. But I think it's a good value. You get two stencils, two different sizes of the hearts in the stencils. So you can use them individually, or you can use them together. And I like when I can get a value on a product when I'm spending my money. 
what you guys know. I do want to say, have you guys ever seen the channel, Hey, It's Me, JD? Um, she is a stamper, card maker. She, you know, her channel is very, very similar to mine in that she's not sponsored. She does her own thing, similar to me. And last week, she posted a video and it broke my heart because I'm assuming that people said some nasty things about her. Um, she did a review video about some items she bought and she was giving her honest opinion about them. And I think people kind of got nasty down in the comments. And um, I really felt bad. And if I could go through the screen and give her a hug, I would have. Um, but I would like to say on my channel, that will not be tolerated. I love you guys. You guys are all so supportive. And if you're not a subscriber to her channel, go over there and subscribe. And for those of you that feel like you have to say something nasty to somebody who's using their own money and their own time to do what they want to do, it's their channel. They're not a paid actor. We do this for fun. And um, she's very similar to me where we are paying for these supplies. This is our money. We do sometimes get free items for people to have us try out. But for the most part, we are spending way more money than we're getting. And for someone to critique that from behind a screen and to bully somebody, that's just being a coward. And if you want to go through videos and watch them and take that five minutes to put a nasty comment on somebody's site that does absolutely nothing but make that person feel bad, keep walking. Because on my channel, you will immediately be deleted and you will immediately be blocked. Now... That's not to say I don't take constructive criticism. If you have constructive criticism and there's something you think I can do better or something I can do differently, by all means, I love the sharing of information. I have no problem with the sharing of information. What I don't like is that people are personally attacking her as an artist, as a YouTuber, and making fun of the way that she looks and it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable in society. It's not accepted. And you, when you have a channel and you have a million views, you know what? Then you have something to say. Good for you. But if you have something nasty to say or you feel that it's your place to put a thumbs down or, you know, it, it's not. And for those people that do that, and I have had to block some people, you know, that are basically trolls is what we call them because they're being nasty. Um, move on because I won't tolerate it. I will find out. I will, like I said, block and delete those comments. And there's no room for that on my channel. My daughter um, has a lot of pride in this channel as well as I do. And I was started to support and help out with my stepchildren who don't, who I don't get to see very often. So that breaks my heart. And I would love for all of you guys to go over her channel. It's, it's me, JD. Give her some love. Give her some thumbs up. Subscribe to her channel because without real people like her, real people like us wouldn't really have an opportunity to do what we're doing. You know, there's a lot of great YouTube artists out there, but we know they're paid professionals. It's their job to sell for certain companies. And you might agree with the product. You might not agree with the product. I have no problem telling you if I like it or I don't like it, but I don't get paid by those companies. I spend my money to try it out. I'm going to put this in the drying rack. <laughs> so if you can't be supportive, right, don't say it at all. How would you like it if somebody spoke that way to your mother, your sister, your kid, your cousin? You know, you if you can't be constructive and... Think honestly how that makes someone feel. You're a terrible person. And I honestly believe what goes around comes around. And all of those people that felt it was necessary to be nasty, well, you're just showing how nasty you are and it will come back to haunt you. And my channel is not for that. I support everybody. If you're a beginner, if you've been crafting for 20 years, if you're 10 years old, if you're 85 years old, I don't care. I want everybody to have fun and enjoy this this hobby together. And people think, oh, you're big time YouTuber, you're making all kinds of money. I can tell you, you guys, seriously, I'll tell you, I think last year I made 
made from YouTube just around $1,000, I spent $5,000. I kept all of my receipts. I spent over $5,000 on crafting supplies. I made $1,000 from YouTube. So if you break it up, it's just maybe a hundred, a couple hundred dollars a month. And yeah, I get free stamps for my design team companies, but those are companies I spent my money with anyway. So, you know, I'm not trying to push anything I wouldn't always already spend my money on. So just so you guys know. All right, I'm off my soapbox now, but please go over to give It's Me JD some love. I think she's in Hawaii. I love her. I feel like she's a sister to me and it really breaks my heart that she had to post a video like that to kind of defend herself and... Um, I think we could all give her some virtual love and give her a hug. And, you know, if you see somebody or hear somebody saying, oh, I went and told this YouTuber how it is. No, you're, you're not telling anybody how it is. You're just being plain old rude. So anyway, sorry. <laughs> and you won't see those on my page. Like I said, if a page, if somebody sneaks through with a comment that I think is just rude, I will delete it. They will get blocked. You can do thumbs down. I really don't care. Whatever. And if you're doing a thumbs down because you don't like the video because you want to be constructive about it, I got a lot of thumbs down on the foiling with embossing folders. I expected that because it didn't work. It it was a hot mess. And I'm still experimenting with that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm open to constructive criticism. I need to work on that and make it better. But what I like to do is take you guys through my crafting journey with me so you can see that I make mistakes before I can perfect it. You know, that you guys see those videos from front to back. Sometimes stuff doesn't work and it gets thrown in the trash. And sometimes I make it work. Like, I took these hot foiling, hot mess mistakes and... Turn them into card fronts, and they're super cute. No, it's not perfect, but that's the fun of crafting. It's not supposed to be perfect. If you wanted it to be perfect, you'd go to Hallmark and buy it. <laughs> well, Tina, you can always go back in and change your thumbs down to a thumbs up. So some people don't know that. So if you hit the thumbs down, you can go back in and change it to a thumbs up. And there are some times where videos are just crap videos. Let's be honest. People post uh, clickbait videos where they want you to watch it. And then you go to watch it and it's nothing about what they said it is. And you spent three minutes of your life watching it. That video does deserve a thumbs down. But if somebody's really trying to fix something or teach you something or explain something even if they don't have the best camera even if they don't have the best editing software even if they don't have the best way of maybe speaking and explaining it to you that doesn't mean they deserve a thumbs down it means that they're trying and it takes I know a lot of people are afraid to be on camera a lot of people are afraid to hear their voice I don't have a problem with that, but I'm a salesman. I've been doing sales for 20 years. It's my job to go out in public and put a smile on my face and talk to complete strangers. So I can understand where people have anxiety about that. I just like to share this hobby with you guys. And if you ever see me out in public, like I was at the New York City show, I'm going to be in Vegas next week. Don't be afraid to come out and say hi to me. I love it. I love getting hugs from you guys because... I feel like we're kindred spirits because you guys understand the crafting world and the pleasure that this brings us and the stress, usually stress relief that it brings to us. This is our this is our counseling. And even though, no, I don't know 13,500 people, I feel like that we do have a connection when it comes to our crafting. So I appreciate the love you guys give me, the thumbs up that you give me, the positive comments that you give me, the questions that you send me. I love all of that stuff. Um... And we just need to keep continuing to be positive people. And I know Jennifer McGuire always says, kindness matters, kindness matters. You know, it's the one thing that doesn't cost you anything to be kind, right? So keep that in mind. All right, I have to get Miss Leah into bed. We are packing up this weekend. She's going to stay with the sitter. Um, somebody's going to stay at my house and watch the dog. And uh, we're all good to go. And I'm going to try to pre-record some videos for you guys for next week. I'm going to try to get a video if I can get into the Vegas store and show you guys that. I don't know what day I'll be there. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. So I'm very excited with the new job and everything they have going on. I love the people that I work with so far. So 
Um, I think I might stick this one out a while. I think this is my forever home with the new job. It just, everything just keeps clicking. It's like fits, 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 fits. I love it. I pinch myself. I can't believe it. And um, yeah, we'll see where we go. Yeah, no thumbs down. Unless you can do it better, don't judge. That's right. No judgy. Uh-uh. We don't do that here. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're male or you're female. I don't care what your relationship status is. I don't care how much money you make. I love you for being you. And I love the support you guys give me for being me. Head on over to Creative Vision Stamps and pick up your foils before she runs out. Toner sheets are back in stock. And head on over to the Not Too Shabby Shop and pick up some of these new releases. I will link my discount code for Not Too Shabby Shop for you guys. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Don't forget the thumbs up.